The 22nd Kenya Homes Expo kept the legacy as a key source of information when it comes to housing decisions. The expo is held twice every year to keep up with the tremendous growth of the real estate sector in Kenya. So I think the expo has really uh, played an important role in uh, sensitizing Kenyans on the various opportunities that are uh, inherent in real estate. Uh, it has also catalyzed the current real estate development that is happening because through the expo, People get ideas on even where to get uh, land, ideas on how to do development, ideas on uh, who are the people to partner with if they want to do development, and they also get confident. When we started the expo, there were very few developers. Today, half of the exhibitors are developers, and they are Kenyans. Most of them are also Kenyans who are doing their own developments because of the confidence that they built. About 200 exhibitors drawn from financial, real estate, interior design and the construction sectors were present at the expo. The event also featured international players aiming to tap into the vibrant property market. Uh, well, it's my third expo at the Homes Kenya and it's our sort of our favourite event of the year. I think the crowds and the diversity of the people who come here is fantastic. From people who have big budgets and people, you know, just got domestic properties who want to look at doing something whether it's build their own um, on their own plot of land. But obviously for us in the security sector, you know, obviously we're trying to provide a quality product on most people's budgets. Uh, but it's a fantastic show and I think from the one in April, there was huge numbers that came through over the course of the four days. And I always find it fascinating to meet so many different characters from all over East Africa, not just in Kenya. Themed Secure Your Dreams, the Expo offers opportunities for visitors and exhibitors to conclude business deals. Every year we've had an increasing number of visitors visiting us. Uh, we have been seeing a change whereby, you know, the, well, the organizers do a very good job by getting the, they invite people, they've set the dates accordingly so that people, it's ease of access for people. And every year numbers have been increasing, we get good numbers, we get people inquiring more and more. So basically it's very, it's very informative for people. Property developers are increasingly creating new ideas and innovations for market consumption. However, absorption of the innovations remains low as many Kenyans are unable to afford decent housing. Real estate is uh, a lot of opportunity that is still inherent. The home ownership in Kenya is very low, less than 3%. That means that uh, um, the current supply can still not meet the demand. And again, uh, one of the unfortunate things we are seeing is that the supply is still catering the middle and upper class market. The lower income groups are still very much ignored. And by factors that can easily be uh, addressed by the government declaring housing as a crisis. For Kenyans living abroad, property ownership back home is a valued investment. Some of the exhibitors at the expo work in to tap into the growing appetite for a share of the real estate market by the diaspora community. Um, from guys in the diaspora, it is, uh, it is picking up right now. And a lot of them are looking forward to homes they come home to rest to. Uh, even there, we have two kinds of people. We have the old person who wants to come home and retire. And we have the relatively young person who wants to invest, who probably builds homes to sell. Yeah, so from the diaspora, we also have two edges of the retiree and the young individual who wants to invest. In East Africa, the property market is buoyed by the expanding group of mid-income earners with disposable income that has led to a lively market. I've noticed over the course of the last two and a half years, the standard of the builds is increasing very, very quickly. Uh, the quality of the tradesmen is moving fast. I think the standard of the apartments, the houses, is excellent. And it's quite a buoyant market. I mean, everyone wants to buy, don't they? That's the thing. Everyone wants to buy either a plot of land or they want to buy a house. Um, so for us, um, supplying premium security products is obviously a very, very interesting market. And obviously Kenya being the hub really for East Africa. According to a report by Center for Affordable Housing Finance in Africa, Kenya remains a competitive dynamic mortgage industry. Nonetheless, only 10% of Kenyans earn enough to finance a mortgage, a factor that prompted financial institutions to set camp at the Expo. We really try to captivate or capture all the clientele in the country to obtain their solutions to housing. Uh, we are here basically to capture that class of people of this Expo 
who really feel they should obtain housing from us. Uh, we give them that dream house of their desire within the, the limits where they can reach based on their various incomes or sources. So that's why we are really here to really market our new products or our mortgage business to the entire people to know that we are really there for the solutions. The Expo has over the years made Kenya its hub due to the growing attractiveness of the country's real estate industry. At the moment we are seeing uh, Kenya as a, a, a very significant uh, location in terms of, uh, of uh, uh, being the capital of Africa. Uh, a lot of international organizations choose Kenya for their, for their headquarters. This expo has grown like to be the biggest in Africa and there are a lot of opportunities that are inherent in Kenya that we can take advantage of. We don't have to have these expos in Tanzania. Let the Tanzanians come here and they're doing that. The Rwandese are coming to this expo. The Ugandans are coming to the expo. All these other countries in, in Africa are coming to the expo. So I think one of the challenges we need to do and we need to work with the government is to provide more expo facilities and space 